How to do a BCA assay by Lindsay and Jed. A BCA assay allows you to determine the concentration of protein in a sample. First, a little lab safety. As with any procedure, make sure you tie your hair up, wear a lab coat, and goggles. Now you're ready to go. You will need the Pierce BCA protein assay kit, complete with reagent A, reagent B, and an ampule of BSA, as well as two microtiter plates. Begin by making a range of dilutions of your known 2 mg per milliliter BSA standard using NanoPure water. This is for your standard curve. Make sure you never use row A, as it is used by the spectrophotometer as a blank for the assay. Next, make a range of dilutions of your sample of unknown protein concentration. Make sure you do all dilutions in duplicate, keep track of which wells you are using, and remember to keep all proteins on ice when not being used. After creating all your dilutions, create a 50 to 1 mixture of reagent A to reagent B, making sure you make enough volume to add 200 microliters to each reaction well. You should see a color change to light green. Immediately add 200 microliters of the mixture to each well and pipette up and down to mix. You should begin to see a spectrum of color change across the concentration gradient in your wells. Microwave the plate, with the second plate as a lid, for 20 seconds, along with 100 milliliters of water as a heat sink. Remove from the microwave. The spectrum of color should be very clear now. Place the plate in a micro titer plate reader set to 560 nanometers. Press down firmly, close the lid, and press run. Wait for the machine to print your absorbance readings. Here's what your absorbance printout should look like. Here, the absorbances of the BSA standard are shown in orange, and those of the unknown concentration in blue. Take a moment to admire the beauty of the BCA assay and get ready to analyze your data. You will generate your BSA standard curve by using Excel and plotting absorbance versus concentration in milligrams per milliliter. Add a trend line and display the equation of the line in Y equals MX plus B format. You will use the M and B values to calculate the unknown protein concentration. The formula for calculating the unknown protein concentration is concentration equals absorbance minus B all over M multiplied by one over the dilution factor. Use all absorbance values that fell below 1 and above the y-intercept of the trend line, that is, within the range of linearity of the assay, to calculate the protein concentration. Average the values and determine your standard deviation. You now know how to perform a BCA assay, a powerful tool in protein chemistry. The BCA assay can be used during and after protein purification in conjunction with activity assays to determine relative protein purity. And remember, you can always refer to the instructions included in the Pierce BCA assay kit. Good luck! Thanks to Professor Peggy Doherty and the Colorado College Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry.